Today, we're going to set up four different Google products, and you do not have to set all of these up for your website and your membership to get up and running. These are not like requirements, but they will make your life easier eventually, okay? Google Analytics tracks all of the data from your website. So currently we have our main website, which is hosted on Kajabi. We have our subdomain of our website or our blog, which is hosted on WordPress or which is hosted on SiteGround, but we use WordPress. And then we also have our subdomain that is on Thrivecart or join dot, whatever your domain is, dot com. Okay, so we'll need to add the Google Analytics code to all three of those places. All right, we're not going to set up in great detail all the different events inside a tag manager for purchases, signups, and all those things. Google Analytics 4 does a pretty good job of tracking everything that we need for right now on its own. You can set that stuff up later, and I can actually, I'll put a link to a guy that does a very good job of explaining how to set up all the little individual tracking events if you want to use those things later on. But again, they're not necessary right now. We just need the basic analytics data to be able to make sure that we're getting the traffic that we need to our website, that our time on site is good. Because remember, we want people to be on our site and actually reading through the material, using it, downloading it. We want to make sure that those things are working, okay? If people purchase, we'll know they purchase because we have all of that data inside of Thrivecart, ActiveCampaign, Kajabi. We, ha we have all of that information that we need. So Google Analytics tracking that right at the moment is not super important. The things that we need to know from Google Analytics are where are our customers located, meaning if we want to target them with ads, can we figure out where they are? Can we figure out what times of day they like to be on our website? Very important it's because that's when we know when we want to post things on social media. And then we also want to know, again, how long they're on our site. If they're, if they're coming to our site and leaving right away, then something in either the design or the product on our website is not as good as we think it is, and we need to work on those things. Okay, so that's the gist of the information that we need from Google Analytics at the moment as we're starting this thing up. Google Tag Manager kind of pairs with Google Analytics, and we use Google Tag Manager to set up containers so that it connects all of our 3D domain slash subdomains inside of Google Analytics. And you'll also use this to create containers for your Facebook account, for your Pinterest account, for your any other advertising platforms that you use. All that stuff will get set up in Tag Manager. Google Search Console just gives you search information and traffic information. Um, we're going to set that up. It's simple to use. That one's actually not bad to set up. And then your Google Ads account, if you want to run Google Ads, I personally run Google Ads and have since the beginning of my business because... If I'm a teacher, I knew that the first thing I did when I was looking for a resource or an activity to use in my class, what did I do? I went into Google and typed in what I needed. So that's probably the best place to advertise. Everybody wants to, you know, say how great Facebook ads are and TikTok and all these other platforms. But at the end of the day, as a teacher, if you need something, you go type it into Google or you type it into YouTube. You type it into some form of Google product. Okay, You don't go on Facebook and type in the search bar, you know, adding single digit numbers activity. That's just not something that you do. Now, you will get tons of traffic on Facebook because there are tons of teachers on Facebook, but the ads have to be set up differently than they do in Google Ads. It's a two totally different platforms. Okay, so this, they have search intent, meaning they are looking for your stuff. You need to put it in front of them. So that's what we're going to use Google Ads for. And those are the four things that we're going to set up. And once we get those set up, we will get away from all this adding code and stuff to the website and get back to the normal business of finishing up creating your membership. So let's head on to lesson number one.